A $250,000 Warzone event happened last night, and I know you guys are going to be shocked by this one. Accusations went flying as cheaters. At least one was disqualified for the event, accused by Twitch rivals and by a number of players in that said lobby, and also one that has not been found guilty. I must clarify that, guys. Twitch rivals did indeed hand a cheating accusation and a disqualification to one streamer known as Metsy, who we're going to be talking about a lot today, and another one was actually skeptical and kind of put out there by a lot of players as well, that being Chili bean has not been found guilty just to clarify that right away and also surprise surprise our boy tommy also being involved but this time around um in maybe a, a not so good way by a few eyes out there certainly a big controversy i would say the biggest controversy in twitch rivals since xqc stream sniped and man those were much simpler times than this one. I'm going to first play for you guys a few clips or a couple of clips of Chili Bean and why some people thought he was suspicious. He was not found guilty. Let that be made clear. Come, 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 come. Fire cells done. Prices are back to normal. Let's go, baby! Yo, these kids it. got third party. Yo, these kids got third party by someone. Yep. Yeah, the kids on the bridge. And I got, I got a play box right here. Here is a crazy okay, clip history. In this zone, everyone, they will just play edge and they will play it out. He doesn't see anybody in this clip. <laughs> no fucking way he sees anybody right here, bro. The one of Booyah, what clip yeah, are you talking about? Oh, yo, right. this guy fucking right. with the riot shield. What this the one is crit. Wait, what happened with riot shield? This one's not even in the tournament, but this is him definitely. And then the center focus of last night's event, especially because Twitch rivals did hand him a disqualification and an accusation of cheating. I am now all the more curious what actually went in the process of Twitch rivals handing him the ban from the event. I think that's going to be very important in the coming days as to hopefully it was not just the accusations made by a fair number of players in these lobbies. By the way, this is all the crazier because in case you guys did not know, last night's Warzone event for a quarter million dollars was custom lobbies. Half the people in there were actually invited and the other half qualified through qualifiers. So the fact that there are accused cheaters out there making it into this somewhat private event is... Um it's pretty sucky because yes, there are much, much more open events out there that have seen some very, very blatant cheats going on, but this was almost a bit more closed off. Certainly half through closed qualifiers or half through qualifiers at all might cause some issues, but this was still, again, some people found it surprising, other people did not. We're gonna talk about Metsy now, guys. He was accused by Twitch rivals and by several players in these lobbies after all of these clips. Controller, by the way. You see how he f***s up? Because he thinks, chat. This guy thinks. That he doesn't think, sorry. You see how his auto aim f***s when the guy jumps out of the window? Are you ready? That guy jumps out the window. Now watch this. Watch his aim. Lock onto the guy. By accident. Because the riot shield isn't giving f*** all. Oh my god, there's a right here. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what in the f is that? I just got sniped in the back from fing boneyard, man. Like <laughs> Dude! I ain't like What? what? Where exactly. Oh, Hold on, I have an idea. Dude, there's someone else on top. Wait. Uh, I have one knock, Metsy. One's laying on my body, on my ex. On your ex? Oh, there's a dude. I think there's another dude behind this first block. He's a bullet. Oh my god, baby. We hit the. Oh my god. That's PR. is disgusting, bro. What are you. Do they have UAV? I don't know. Uh, there were UAVs being popped before I died. They're just nading. Dude, that was the craziest kill cam I've ever seen in my life. Just f***ing cracked up his goddamn f***ing Moving here. Oh, there's a dude. 
Did they pop a UAV? How? No. <laughs> they didn't even have a fucking UAV popped. He does. Yeah, look at my stick. When I'm moving. It doesn't matter about your stick. You're still moving your stick to put your aim on them. Watch it. Yeah. I'm waiting. No one's aim does this. Correct there. Look, before you've even gone in aim. I caught you in 4K. 4K. Before you've even aimed in. I want an apology from youngsters as well. I go through every kill of yours. Every kill. And it's this. Now, can you just get it done with and just fucking say I'm, yes? I'm telling you right now, I'm not cheating, bro. You I are cheating you your ass off. No, I'm not. Look I'm at that thing. Right now, I'm not cheating. Look at and I can't go back through all of the VODs, but I can tell to you guys at least three to four prominent names. Uh, some pro players, Warzone pros, were accusing them of not just being suspicious, but, you know, blatantly calling them cheaters. I don't want to name names because I'm not sure on everyone, but certainly a lot had their accusations against this guy, to which he has now made his own defense. Of course, Tommy now took it a step further and put brought him on stream to investigate his PC which actually changed and turned, I would say, a lot of eyes. But first of all, let's talk about Twitch Rivals and their tweet. As they said, during the Twitch Rivals Doritos Bowl featuring Call of Duty Warzone final, Metsy B was ruled to be cheating. As a result, his team was removed from the event. We take Twitch Rivals player conduct extremely seriously. We will continue to investigate any allegations of cheating. And that right there being very important because this coming after the surfacing of so many skeptical clips out there to which Twitch Rivals apparently deemed his gameplay was unnatural, beyond a reasonable doubt, and that's why he was handed the ban, you gotta wonder what kind of evidence they have besides the clips that we have all seen out there. What made Twitch able to actually make the accusation of him cheating, which they say in that tweet. In case you guys missed it, unfortunately so, Tommy's VOD has now been deleted. Metsy's is still up. It was actually a couple of hours where Tommy and his chat and some other third party members came into his Discord to investigate the man's PC, of which they found nothing. And this is something to probably be talked about in the future. It's, it, and I, I wanted to talk about it before as well. Tommy puts himself in these very, very weird circumstances to which I, I will agree with a lot of people out there. This stream did not paint him in the best light or make him look as good as he has in the past by exposing people. But I don't think he set himself up for any success here. In fact, I don't think he was setting himself up for anything but failure in this case. When you go after someone like this who had plenty of time, if they, and again, I'm not making the accusation here, Metsy. He was already accused of cheating by Twitch rivals and issued that ban. Certainly, I would say, I, I, I think a lot of people out there would find him a lot less guilty ever since his ban being issued because of the evidence that was not found on his PC, I would say he turned a lot more eyes given this interview with Tommy. But if I'm in Tommy's shoes, I mean, unless you actually find something on his PC, you are setting yourself up for failure. And anyone who probably knows how to use cheats or knows exactly what they're doing can either A, hide it, or B, delete it in, I imagine, any amount of time out there. And I just think Tommy put himself in some very difficult shoes and put himself in open fire, to which he is now receiving that backlash and he is having to accept it. And I would say he's doing a, a manageable job, a job in actually dealing with that backlash so far. And, and beyond that, guys, it's just, it's crazy to realize because I think I can speak for all of us in saying, that nobody can catch cheaters as well as an anti-cheat. You know, there might be a few people out there, some, some few one-offs, but I think if there's actual technology out there that is automated to actually find these cheats as compared to Tommy, who is who is not in this field. He is not meant to be looking for cheats. I think that became very apparent last night and he's sifting through files and folders and what might not be. I, I think it's safe to say that an anti-cheat would do a much better job and the fact that it's come to this to try and find a cheater who has been accused by Twitch rivals and banned is entirely sucky for everyone involved. I think it was actually pretty cool to see despite the accusations at the end of this two or three hour stream, Metsy says, Thanks, Tommy. Th thanks for giving me the chance. And, and I will say, I do think Tommy did the guy a favor because he turned a lot of other eyes on their opinions of this guy. An admin from Twitch or something like that to be like, yo, come in here and just tell me what, what the steps that you want me to follow to do this. I'm not going to li listen to some random Billy in the chat that's be like, yo, do this. It's like, no, I would want somebody to come in and be like, yo, do these steps. You still might look sus as f but at least you're doing the right steps. Exactly what Boy Santana just said. I've already said, chat. If it comes out in the end, he's got all of this proof, and he now does, you know, monitor cams, everything like that, and he's unbelievable. I'll happily hold my hands up. 
I'll right. happily say I'm, my well, bad. Then, I'll um, say all of this. All but I'm telling you, like, that's what I'm saying. All, I'm saying is all these idiots saying shit in the chat, like, blah, 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 blah. So, this man is doing it correct. I, I'm pretty sure you remember the last time. So I'm pretty sure you guys remember the last time. Yo, um, whoever's going through my PC, you know, thank you, like, for doing this or whatever. Tommy, appreciate you taking your time, and I know you should be streaming and doing all this bullshit. And... Oh, no, no, it's not. That's not, it's not. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. It's just, it's, like, it's, on your on your PC. Yeah, like, I'm, like, there's just loads of stuff that just doesn't make sense. Yeah, if, I don't, and I don't know how to explain a, it. So. There's a lot of log files here, right? And um, do you, would you mind if I just export this? Sorry, oh, no, no. It's not, emails, like, but I've already been messaged. Quite personal. I've already been messaged by, like, 20 different people that have cheats themselves in mm -hmm. DMs. And they say, keep me private. Here's this. This is this. This is what they do, by the yeah, way. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got all of the files that have run today. Mm -hmm. um, I will go through this with a fine, fine tooth comb, and then I'll like share my results with Tommy of, 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 of what I think. Yep. Yes, sir. That's all you can really uh, do. Me. Like, I'm not trying to do a pissing match right now either, so. Yep, yep. It's been a long yep. ass day. And, so. uh. Whatever happens, I mean, you're either like yeah, I'm either cleared or I'm not super like, ballsy you know or like, it's either I'm fucking, you know I, I'm dragging my nuts across the fucking floor or I'm not like, you know what yeah. I'm saying like which I hope this fucking helps and clears my name because this is something this. I wanted to do but clearly this is fucking gonna be a roadblock in the, the road right now so and obviously you guys know watching I'm I'm a fan of Tommy I'm a fan of what he does the action he has taken and I'm not here to say and clear Metsy's name. He, he has definitely stood by his word that there are certainly so many things about those clips that were suspicious, that were skeptical and could not be explained away. And obviously Twitch rivals felt the same way. I'm not here to clear Metsy's name or blatantly accuse him 100% of cheating. I'm sure he also understands this is just a weird time to be in. And I'm sure he also would just want an anti-cheat out there to determine whether or not he is or is not cheating because there's still that sense of doubt even after all of these circumstances. It's unfair to everyone involved. So very lastly, Tommy last night taking to Twitter saying, fully understand the hate I'm receiving and it's deserved. There just wasn't enough to go by to give my opinion on Metsy. From the stuff I saw, I believe something was off, but there was just wasn't enough to go as far as it did and to have everyone saying he cheated. I apologize for that, which will mean very little to a lot of you, and I know that. I didn't want to take it any further, but nobody else seemed to care, bar one or two, and he asked if I'd talk to him so he can prove he was clean, which he did. I'll hold my hands up and admit we were wrong. I'm sorry for letting a lot of you down. I don't know what more to say, but I accept and deserve anything that comes from this. And I think this was bound to happen. Evidently, eventually, you're going to run into a hacker or a cheater who is either A, not guilty, or, or B, who can hide it well enough where it makes you look probably not so good. I think that Tommy finally found his case and hopefully will be a learning lesson going forward. I think all the more importantly, it's very important to see why Twitch rivals did actually issue the ban after all was said and done. Best of luck to Metsy going forward and the same goes for Tommy. I will tell you guys this, um, this made the Warzone event, I would say, even more entertaining than it was going to be. Uh, can we agree on that one? Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy, right? Take a sip of that Wonka. I'll catch you back here sometime soon. Take care.